Now I am on my way to the outlet to see if we can find the baby outfit that I need for the baby that I don't have. It's not apparent that we haven't used this camera in a few days, maybe a week, anyways. Good morning, welcome to today. It is a, uh, well, there's a wasp eating maybe a worm on my window. say that it is a beautiful yet very hot day it's still a beautiful day but that just kind of grosses me out a little bit fly away wasp anyways <laughs> I got out some of my anger anyways um, as you can see well maybe you can't see we are still in Orlando today is July the 7th um, we were supposed to move over the weekend, plans changed. We are here for at least another month, maybe even longer. We do not know for sure yet. Um, so in the meantime, I am out to run some errands. I've got to do a few things. Um, the house is completely in shambles because half of it is packed, half of the stuff is unpacked. We don't know if we're moving or if we're not moving. Um, but anyways, that's a different story for another day. Derek is sleeping. He had to work last night. He has to work again tonight. And then we may be going to my grandmother's in Alabama this weekend. We haven't decided if we're going this weekend or next. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to go out and do some errands. I am on a mission to find a baby one it's not a onesie it's like a sleeper um but it buttons i think it's in a two pack um from carter's i saw it online last night i didn't want to pay seven dollars of shipping for an item that was like 13 dollars. so i'm gonna go try to find it we have carter's in both of our um outlet places i don't know if we have them in other places um but i'm hoping that i can find those because i'm absolutely in love with it and i want a newborn size for a coming home outfit i think it'll do for a girl or a boy um so and don't i don't want you guys to get all excited and feel like we know something that you don't know we don't i'm just have been very optimistic lately as far as like how long it's going to be until we have a little baby in our house and so i bought a set of onesies yesterday that are kind of in the same like theme and the same trend as the sleeper that i'm looking for i didn't see the sleeper yesterday which makes me a little bit nervous but if i don't find it today then i'll just come home and order it okay so i got a few errands done that were a little bit boring now I am on my way to the outlet to see if we can find the baby outfit that I need for the baby that I don't have. <laughs> I went for a long period that I did not buy anything. I feel like in the beginning, like first maybe two or three years that we were trying, I bought a lot of stuff. Not a lot, but we probably have like two or three like medium sized boxes full of stuff. Mostly girl stuff. Um, because when we were going to adopt previously, we were going to choose, be gender specific and choose a girl because that's what I have always wanted first. At this point, I don't care anymore and we're not going to be gender specific going forward with adoption. But, um, we were before, so we have a lot of, uh, girl stuff. Um, so I have, I have not bought a lot of stuff, especially since our IVF. Um, when we found out that the first round of IVF worked, we both bought like one thing, like we bought a blanket and a onesie or something. And then I think we have like two sleepers that were like organic cotton or something and they were on clearance at Target. So I bought those. Um, but I've always just been really apprehensive. I did finally, like a month ago, I bought a baby blanket that I just loved. I had it custom made. Um, it says Adventure Awaits. I'll try to remember to show you guys when I get home if it's unpacked somewhere. Um, but 
I just really love these outfits. Then they're totally gender neutral. I'll show them to you. Um, but I'm going to go try and find those. And then I need to find some food for my belly because I am hungry and it is 2.30 and I haven't eaten anything yet today. So we're gonna go do that. We made it to the outlet. It's a busy day. It's a hot day. I had to park 50 miles away. So if this little sleeper is not here, which will be all for nothing. <laughs> I would have to order it online so that's what I'm gonna have to do but since I made that long walk and I didn't even find what I needed clearly means we have to go in the Disney outlet just to make up for the trip and just make sure there's nothing else that I need to buy there With anything today no look at the carter store no look at the disney store although i'm pretty sure there's always something that i could buy in the disney store i usually end up picking it up walking around for a few minutes and then deciding that it's just going to go on the shelf next to all of the other disney crap that i have so when i'm by myself i hear derek's voice saying do you really need that are you sure you need that and i'm like okay i'll put it back what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing we haven't well wait wait ceiling for Derek. We haven't seen you in a long time. You guys think that you haven't seen us in a long time. I feel like we haven't seen each other in equally that amount of time. Right? It's been crazy. So I thought since we were talking about baby stuff today we would show you our small collection of stuff that we have. Why is my butt wet? Mini goal. It's definitely what. My butt is for sure what. <laughs> I'm going to murder someone. Yeah, right there. Marie! <laughs> Why? Oh. She will only pee on things. She will not pee on the floor. And she has been doing so, so well. But she will get up on the couch and pee. She will jump up on the bed and pee. She will not just pee in the floor. If she can't get up on anything, she won't pee. But if she can get up on something, she will pee. So anyways, yeah, so she peed on the bed. So anyways, we're back from our short intermission <laughs> of talking about what a horrible dog she is. I mean, not really, she's doing better, but still, we have a rough time sometimes. Well, first, let me present to you the onesies that I bought yesterday that I was talking about. I did come home and order the little two sleepers that I saw because they didn't have them at Carter's today. So, this is the first one. Hello, I'm awesome. Oh, and then the rest are, you, you can't mess up the order. I'm losing my pants. <laughs> Then this one has a little sheep and this one says I woke up this cute and then this one's just plain and then this one says little peanut and I just love them so much. Yeah. So the little sleeper is, I'll show you this, this is another little sleeper that we have but the little sleeper set that I bought doesn't have the feet on it and it's not no. like I this. chose this one. Yeah you did. That's what you bought after we did our first round of IVF. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't have the feet on it and it's not like a fleece material. And it says, does it say hello or hey? 
It either says hello or hey, I'm new here. And I just love it so much. So I got it in newborn because that's what I want to use as our coming home outfit, no matter whether it's a girl or a boy. If it's a girl, we'll put a pretty pink bow. And if it's a boy, we'll put, I don't know, hat on it or something. And then we have our... Yeah, these are the uh, Burt's Bees Wax. Burt's Bees. <laughs> I guess it's probably not Burt's Beeswax <laughs> when you're talking about the baby stuff. Burt's Bees gown and cap. They're uh, organic cotton. So we have this one and we have this, this red one. one over here. Those are the ones that we bought on clearance at Target. And then we have a blanket. Yeah, this is from my sister. Um, she gave this to us last Christmas, which it's always nice to get... Sometimes I think it's probably hard for people when you're trying to get pregnant and they're like, do we buy something? Do we not buy something? I think it's nice to get things every once in a while just right. so that people are like encouraging of the fact that they believe that you will become parents one day because it doesn't necessarily hurt my feelings. It might hurt a little bit to think of like, man, I wish I had a baby to use this on right now, but it makes right. me hopeful. Don't step on her to think of using it one day. So, and then blanket. this is the blanket that I bought for after our first IVF cycle. And then we have two little bibs that we bought. And then, our... and then my favorite thing in the whole world is this little pack of, what are they, muslin blankets, swaddles. I am obsessed with hot pink and orange and flamingos and so when i saw those at target you also like the pink and rose gold stuff too. i like i just like the girl stuff which like i said when we were doing our first round of ivf it was important to me or not ivf adopt when we were starting to do adoption the first time it was important to me to have a girl first um and so the agency that we, we were using then didn't charge any extra to choose a gender or whatever. So that's just what we did. Um, this time around, um, if we go through with the adoption, we're not going to specify a gender, even though secretly, like I'm praying every night that it's a girl. I mean, I'll be happy no matter what. Well, I think- But hey, I really just, want a girl. Right, we do. What? I, I'm organizing. Well, do you want a girl now? I don't really care as long as they're healthy. I mean, that's where I am too, but I really want a girl. <laughs> Which I think is kind of like a girl thing to say, although my sister really wanted a boy the first time, so maybe yeah. I guess maybe it's different, but... Well, I think it's, you know, just... Like, I want a boy. I've always wanted a boy. And I would still, like, if I got to choose, I would choose to have a boy, but at this point, I don't think it, like, really matters you know anyways <laughs> i don't even want to talk about it no i will be happy either way but i really want it to be a girl do you have any words of wisdom you would like to add to the people i have no wisdom you don't Take it. okay it's all been used up <laughs> so anyways again? i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a look into what my day was like today and looking at some of our baby stuff we have like i said we have a ton more and we'll show you guys one day um probably when the baby closet is actually being put together and getting ready to be used um which is hopefully sometime soon i have just started saying that I know that we're closer today than we were yesterday and so that's what I'm yeah. holding on to. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. We are going to try to start picking up the camera more often. Um, I'm going to try to film a day this weekend. I think we're going to go to the parks one evening or go see the new downtown Disney section. Yes, we still um, have not been there and I want to go see... What do you want to go see? The the food <laughs> that's all we care about is the food in anything um so <clears throat> choking stay tuned for that and we will see you guys later bye bye, bye. say bye tiny say bye <laughs> bye guys have a good night <laughs>